Hey everyone, Dan here. Hey, I've got an interesting couple little tips for motivation this week. Um, first tip comes from Heidi. She's an amper. And um, what she does before she starts painting is she knits for 30, 20, 30 minutes. And I thought that was a really a clever idea because it kind of gets her hands moving and and I think also more maybe even more importantly is it just gets some sort of activity going right away so she knits and you know not only that it's kind of a creative activity that's so I like that so I included sketching with that for 20 to 30 minutes and almost the kind of sketching that would be more like considered doodling rather than drawing so I would like you maybe if, if you guys have problems getting going or feeling like you are when you get going you're kind of sluggish go ahead and maybe try to knit or sketch or doodle or do something with your hands for 20 30 minutes and it gets your hands steady is what Heidi says and I can certainly see how that would happen and also gets you warmed up and kind of gets your brain into that kind of a creative handsy mode and I really think there's maybe something really good to this now I've never really done this because that's not really how I motivate myself but you know certainly it's worth trying and what motivates me very often will motivate you guys will not motivate you and vice versa so I think it's at least something good to try and um, thank you Heidi for sharing that great idea with you and then I got another one a little mini idea it's called ditch your internet um, I had this weird circumstance of events came up a couple webinars ago my computer crashed so I took that computer out of service and um, actually delegated it to one of my um, assistants and and I was gonna buy a brand new computer and um, but I had this old kind of junker computer sitting around. And I figured, well, you know, because and, and what I needed a computer for then was for my studio, for my painting. And um, this one was an old desktop, and it didn't have a Wi-Fi card in it, so it couldn't get internet unless I wanted to run cables back to the to the box. And I didn't feel like doing that, so I figured, well, I'll just set up this computer for um, painting only. So I set up the computer for painting only, and it um, didn't have internet that's the main thing I'm driving at here but it's a good enough computer I mean it's an old an older computer but for painting you just need something that can run a photo editing program and enlarge and reduce pictures and that's about it and um, boy I tell you as soon as I I didn't have that internet I was it was kind of amazing because I didn't realize how often I'd be painting and I'd like oh yeah um Clyde Aspavig did this, or Richard Schmidt did this, or Van Gogh did this, and I'd end up going on the internet and spending 20 minutes looking for that painting, and then I'd find it, and then along the way, invariably, something else would distract me, and I'd like, oh, I'll go check that out, and before you know it, you get pulled into a, this rabbit hole of 20, 30, 40, 50 an hour or two, you know, and for me, it isn't now this is the important part for me and, and I don't know if it will be for you but for me it is it isn't really so much that it is the 20 minutes of being pulled away from the painting I mean that that's a big deal but for me a lot of times it's hard to get back into painting mode after that because um whatever you might read something negative or whatever you know in that in that time and it'll kind of zap your enthusiasm so for me it has really made a tremendous difference and like i say it's not as much because the internet itself was was necessarily bad it was not being able to get back into the flow of painting so what i recommend you do is get an old computer and you, everyone probably has one of these laying around that you know just doesn't quite up to speed and kill the inter, kill the internet on it turn up turn it off and preferably if you can delete it in a way that can't be turned back on so that you aren't tempted to bring it back up and then so and then remove all the programs that don't have anything to do with with painting so like anything that you might find yourself playing with certainly games and things like that that might get you distracted and another thing that I do too which is kind of fun is I'll keep a DVD in the DVD player and then kind of like the first thing I do when I get in my studio is I might hit play and 
that then there's a DVD playing about painting and I find that personally very motivating because I'm like oh yeah that's a cool idea I'm, I'm gonna try that and before you know it I'm really excited to get into the painting and try this new idea from this artist that I um, just saw the DVD on so that's a pretty cool thing and you know I know a lot of you are asking are gonna ask well who do you buy DVDs about and everybody I think everybody has something to teach me out there you know and um, so I will watch a lot of DVDs or a lot of times I'll listen to DVDs while I'm painting and then something will grab my attention but now that's not for everyone a lot of people cannot do two things at once and I, I kind of can get away with it but um, that's just my personality type so I like that and but it's also might be an, another thing to to um, to play a DVD if you feel like you're getting stuck or if you are on a break and it's good to kind of hear someone else talking about the same thing you're doing it might really be a good motivator for you but anyway mostly what I'm saying is dump the things that distract you and just try to stay focused and don't get yourself caught in one of those rabbit holes not again not only so that you don't um, get distracted but so that it doesn't take your energy away from you so that you can't get back into it anyway that's my tip of the week for motivation thanks again to Heidi for that great idea about knitting and um, have a fantastic day